Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to yet another episode of Airport CEO. We are playing with the Big Bird update and uh, the airport is growing. Um, now, in, uh, uh, in between episodes I've let it run a little bit just so we get a little bit more cash coming in. Uh, and the first thing I want to do now is set up some remote stands over here, which is of course part of our current mission. If I quickly have a look over here. It's about building and operating a remote stand. So that's what we're going to do. I am very keen on grabbing us a couple of small um, remote stands over here. Um, these are 40k, so that's pretty pricey in general, right? So I'm going to grab a couple of small ones over there. We could actually squeeze in some more. I wish I wish we could we could use that same piece over there but anyway we'll see how we do it we actually what I could do is I could at some point maybe run yeah but then I can only do the one so it's fine I'm gonna leave, leave it like that for now let's uh, let's link that up there over there over there do I make it a remote stand in any way shape or form uh, not really but this was a four so that'll be a five and then a six um, we're definitely gonna get issues with our um, definitely gonna get issues with uh, with our baggage bay now I think so what I'm keen on doing is I wanted to initially put them in here but I think what I need to do is grab the the airside shuttle stop and I was thinking to squeeze them in there with a little bit of an extra um, with a little bit of an extra area there I'm not, I'm not sure if that's if that's gonna work this is one of those things that we're just gonna have to test and see if it actually does work and I'm kind of wondering where we let's do that let's try let's try it this way and what I'm gonna look at is okay give me my give me my road this is the service road right service road service road will run all the way around over there plus it'll run in there and it'll run in there whether that is a good idea or not I have no idea um, and then the question is do we expand I think we need to expand the terminal a little bit over here so that we can provide them access and this is basically going to be the pickup point for these um, I don't think you can double up that was the case on the previous one that you couldn't actually double up if we do that for instance now I don't know if that's going to work uh, maybe we'll test it and see how that goes so let's grab our terminal building and we will squeeze in a little bit more over there nice um, let's get rid of that and what I was wondering, just one big door could be all we need right here in the middle. Right, so one big door over there. Give me my uh, my flooring. Let's quickly fix up the flooring there, like so. And then I want to make sure that we we'll just do two small stands, I believe. I think this will actually work. We could also. We'll see. We could also just take out the corners over here. We'll see. We'll see. Actually, taking out the corners would could look could look pretty decent. So if I go and I say, let's take out the corners over there. Just do that, and we will tie in like so. Okay. Uh, give me my security piece here. I hope this will work. This is going to be a bit of a new setup for us. So there's that. Now let's quickly get our little piece of service road here, like so and like so. So that's now kind of the area where they're going to be picked up right over there. Now let's get our desks in place. I'm going to go with the small ones. And what we'll do, oh, and I can't actually, I can't flip it around, right? There's no flipping it around like mirroring it. Mirroring it would have been cool. If I could, can I? No, definitely doesn't 
doesn't do that thing it doesn't do the mirroring thing so the question is how do i or do i do i separate these with two doors maybe that's how i do it let's uh, let's not let's not use the one big door there maybe that's that's a bit of an issue for us so let's uh, let's get rid of the one big door and put uh, two small uh, well then we we'll obviously need to put the wall back in and then we'll grab two smaller doors not those these doors there so i'll put one over here and one over there excellent and now let's just see did we have the secure zone connected we do okay now let me get those uh, those desks the small ones and i'm just gonna run it straight into there and straight into there i think that's exactly the setup that we want now this one i want to link up here that one i want to link up over there nice and um, then we want to link up this guy actually no this guy now needs to be linked to this one there and this one needs to be linked to that one over there excellent so now it's that's the case now we can get some buses oh we also need to move our our stuff over but i also want to get us um our service roads come on service roads we need to kind of structure location not possible what Honestly, but how am I? Do I? No, you can't be possible. Can't be possible. I, it has to be able to cross. Yes, it can cross. I just had the wrong stuff. So there we go. So now they can actually cross over that way. So that'll be um, the case there. So they can actually connect up. All of that is in fact connected. Um, we could squeeze in some kind of a hangar or a storage of vehicles over here. Maybe the buses should be parked over this side. Actually, maybe on that side is actually also a good idea. Um, hmm, I'm kind of tempted. Maybe what we should do is we should run it, run it in there. I'm not too sure. Let's see, have a look. Okay, so if we do a vehicle depot, we can squeeze something in there. But I actually am tempted to... To run not too many of these little roads so let's go out uh, go and um, I'm gonna get rid of this road and we'll see what what goes in there and then what I'll do is I'll run a road in there and we'll do some lots of roads in that's that little location there so let's see how that goes so that area is now up and running we need some apron buses and things so let's see if this yeah that sorts itself out okay perfect now, with that in mind, we need to grab a vehicle depot. And I'm tempted to... I'll just do, do the vehicle depot right there. And we will go ahead and grab some of the concrete tiles. And we'll just kind of concrete that up over there. So now that's, that's kind of this area over there. Now, let's um, open up these. We need to toggle between oh yeah that's what we wanted toggle some of that going on there nice nice um i need to link these to a baggage bay huh? so go downstairs link it to the same baggage bay that's already taking on everything and i know you guys are probably screaming out there in the comments no too many things too many things and i do know i do appreciate that uh oh you're actually coming into park over here now because it's much closer Okay, either way, now let's get ourselves some of these buses. That's what we, we're here to do, right? Build, oh, service cars. Okay, hang on. Service cars is a little, a little something else, I think. Mm, where am I going to spark these service cars? Can we... Let's have a quick look at this. So, service cars. Structure not valid. Hmm. It is quite a bit of a bummer now. And it's getting busy, very busy. And I'm a little worried. So let's see. If we trim back, I just see, we can get two service car stops in here, right? Yeah, we can get two of them in there. And maybe that is exactly what we're gonna what we're gonna do. We're gonna trim back the stuff and put in the service cars, but my goodness. 
This is gonna have to be a temporary solution, guys. This is gonna have to be temporary. So let's uh, get rid of that. Hopefully that gives us tons of extra money, but I don't think it's actually the case. And now I'm getting my service car stops um, like so and like so. Yeah, that's pretty good actually. I think that should do the trick. Um, let's get one more, just for realism's sake, let's get uh, like a column right over there. <laughs> so there are service car stops. Now do we, we have to link them, right? So we'll go over here and we say, uh, connect to a service car stop over there and connect to a service car stop over here. I'm not sure if I need two or one can do, not too sure. But anyway, that's in mind in place now. So now we can actually open this up for business. Open up for business. So immediately we will probably see stuff being being sorted out over there. So let's get ourselves a couple of extra kind of seats over here. So I'm just going to go seating there and seating there. And hopefully that is sufficient for these because this will be smaller flights as well, right? Okay, let's quickly have a look at our schedule and see if we're gonna get some stuff coming into our remote stands um, soon. I believe we should. Yes, first remote stand uh, vehicle, or first remote stand plane should be arriving shortly. But yeah, this, uh, this whole airport is getting pretty busy at the moment. Oh, you know what we need? Almost forgot, almost forgot. Economy, go to the procurement tab. We need airside shuttle buses. What are our options for airside shuttle buses? Only the one, right? So let's grab two of them. Okay, and probably a couple of extra stair trucks. Uh, actually, they don't, oh, they do need stair trucks. Like, no, they shouldn't. They shouldn't, but anyway, we will be using extra stair trucks as we go. Okay, new product is arriving. So, excellent, that should be good. So. Is it arriving yet? No, so it's not here yet, but there will be um, a plane on one of these remote stands soon. Let's have a quick look again. Oh yes, it is a small plane, but it is taking a longer, um, a longer slot. More stay trucks arriving, thank you. Excellent. I think our airport is is a, is a, is a, it's, it's a fairly efficient build actually, um, but I do I am quite keen on getting our taxiways sorted out now. So let me let me try and actually just get the taxiways. What what kind of taxiways are we going to go with? I think we need to go with asphalt taxiways just so it looks a little a little bit different. Huh? Yes, I think that's that's what we're going to do. Asphalt taxiways, insufficient funds. Okay, so at least we're starting to get some asphalt stuff going on. Where's our next plane coming in? Am I, is it still not? Oh, it's gonna arrive soon. Okay, anyway, we're gonna get it here soon and there are buses and stuff available, I'm sure. Employee can't reach a designated, designated job site and why is that? Uh, can I see what that last notification was? It was one of these, huh? Anyway, I'm not sure. Let's just forget about it for now. We probably need some more extra, some extra staff. So let's have a look. Um, service technicians, I think it's okay. Security officers, fine. Um, we might need more ramp agents. I don't know. Anyway, for now. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. People getting on the bus. And the bus is heading back into town and is parking, hopefully out of the way. People jumping off, next bus is going around and parking again. So I think um, with the new terminal or the new depot over here, things is a little bit closer. I think this will work. We'll see them um, probably uh, boarding soon. Ooh, they should be just kind of strolling out there if you're not boarding, guys. It's not, 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 not what we want. Okay, an employee can't reach a job site. What is it? And it's been resolved, huh? A6, uh, yeah, so it's one of these. Which employee is it though? I hope it's, uh, oh no. Oh, you know what? 
you know what? I gone and did buy the um, did buy the buses, but I forgot the service cars. Ah, yes. Okay, go go easy on me, guys. Go easy on me in the uh, in the comments. Two of them. We'll pick up two of them. Oh, rookie mistake. Luckily, they come very quickly, but it may still be a tad too late to get that one out in time. So the service cars should be here now, and they should go down and pick up guys um, pretty immediately, I think. Service cars, yeah. Heading down to pick up the guys. Excellent. And the other one, I'm guessing there's another plane that's arrived. Excellent. So now we should get our guys over here pretty soon. Wow. The big boy is coming to uh, to fill up these. Service cars are arriving. Ramp agents are here to do their thing. There's not enough ramp agents. I can clearly see that. Oh, I didn't see the boarding. Oh, crap, I'll have to have a look at the next one. Anyway, they worked. Whether they're on time is a, is a whole different ball game. But I think we need to um, get a couple more ramp agents. I think at least another like four of them or five of them. There we go. Let's do that. That should now be sufficient to sort things out. Because there's only the one doing the service round. He's still just the one over here doing the service round. And that's obviously not great. It takes many, many more ages to do it that way. Okay, I'm pretty keen on the next flights to see where that goes. Oh, excellent. Oh, oh, hang on. What's it saying? You've done it. You're now officially a CEO of a fully operational international airport. This is just the beginning as there are a lot more to discover as a CEO, which um, has not been covered in this tutorial. With your current knowledge, you've gained from building this airport. Your next ones will be even more efficient and better. Good luck, Airport CEO. So my understanding is the Alpha 434 update that's coming, I don't know, in, in, in a bit of time, um, will have a completely new gameplay dynamic behind it. So it's not just the standard tutorial. You won't be able to build everything from the start, all these kinds of things. So a bit more of a campaign-y kind of thing. So I'm pretty keen to, to have a look at that. And hopefully it brings along with it tons of other cool features but for now um, I'm, I'm keen to just get out make our way to the big birds we uh, we're getting pretty busy on this one the runway and I know some of you have commented that it's time for a second one but I do like to push it a little bit to the limit before we actually do that excellent another guy has arrived I do want to see um, that's not cool I don't like that and there we go stuck Stuck, stuck, stuck. Okay, that's better. Anyway, there's a lot of little turnaround spaces and things over there. I do want to see the boarding going on. That's going to be the thing to see. I want to see the boarding. Why is the uh, why is the general aviation guy so unhappy with me? Is there any way I can find that out? Is is what I'm what I'm wondering about. Okay, I feel like we should see some boarding here soon. There it is, boarding time. Uh, the bus is there. We're waiting for a, a airport staff member. And I believe if we go and have a look at it now, there's not enough. No, there are enough. So we're just waiting for one to make their way over here to start boarding. There it is. And boarding will commence, I believe. Let's, uh, I'm going to flip this one around and see if it works better if it's the other way. If you do, I don't think it will be better. But anyway, that's boarding. Uh, and there it goes, going over there and swinging around and getting people in there. Is that everything? Yeah, everything is sorted. Now, let's see. Uh, we should have a boarding on this side as well with the other way around. Now, I like the idea that we can flip things around. It'll certainly make our drop-off work easier, but I do want to see how we operate it in in the in this instance, whether it's it's functional or not, right here, right here, right now. Come on, where's my bus? Here comes a bus. Yeah, I think so. I think it's functional. I think it is functional.
Okay. And there it goes. Did he take a few passages? Yeah, three people on board. Okay, good, good stuff. And load them up, buddy. Okay, excellent. And out of the way. Nice. Okay, that's that's gone well. Um, this area is this is done. Did we actually get a bonus here? I'm not too sure. We did. I'm not sure we did. Um, can I? I'll just grab another one of these guys to fill that in um, over here. I'm hoping we can get to bonus levels, but sales revenue at least is pretty awesome. These guys are picking up their stuff, and yeah, we're making money. Uh, oh, I wanted to extend some more of our taxiways. At least, at least up to there, right? Because at least this will. Yeah. Okay. So at least up to there. So that looks a little bit better. Now, next thing I think is for us to start ex expanding in terms of few things i think it's a pretty stable airport to be honest with you i think the airport is pretty stable this is getting a little busy so if we say we want to expand here eh, that's 750 to unlock we can't afford it right now um let's quickly really see these guys are being dropped off like so and like so nice Excellent. So I think that is kind of working. I'm not too sure we're going to go run way out with lots of um, lots of uh, remote stands everywhere. But at the moment, it's working pretty well. And I think the um, travel times aren't too bad. I think we need to transition towards something that's a little bit bigger over here. Um, I'm also pretty keen to start getting rid of general aviation. Let's quickly have a look. Um, I want to see what we're making from general aviation if we have a look at our daily daily numbers um oh so this can only be hourly estimates okay so let's see so runway usage fees parking fees so this is this is where actually is that is that what we're making from who pays for the parking so no aviation Oh, aviation fuel cells. No meals, no cabin cleaning, and no de-icing. So we've got the runway usage, and then we've got parking fees. And my question is, who pays? Do these guys pay parking fees? Okay, so what I need to do is I just need to see. Let's just do a fairly slow operation here. I want to see if these guys pay parking at the end of the hour. Is parking only general aviation or is parking done by everyone? Uh, didn't see any parking fees over there. If you go over here though, you will see at the end of the hour. So let's speed up to the next hour. I believe you will see that at the end of the next hour, you will see a little number popping up here. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. Oh, in the middle of the hour though. So the question is, do I keep an eye on over here? Is there a parking fee that you get from these guys just kind of parking? There's people, terminal usage, passenger fees, all those kind of things. But I don't think they pay a, a parking fee. I haven't seen a parking fee from them. So if we go and have a look at our contracts, right? Let's quickly go and see. I sh we should be able to see in our contracts... Um, not the offered ones, the accepted ones. So if I grab this one, for instance, well, is there any? So it doesn't actually give me any fees in here, does it? Okay, so no fees whatsoever in there. Okay, fine. So let's get out of that. So now, then if I go to... Uh, ooh, the G1. Uh, we, I haven't actually have a look, had a look at that. Um, if I go to economy and we go to our fees, ooh, CFO. It's CFO time, guys. CFO time. Get us uh, executive as CFO. A cheap CFO, please. This one is uh, good. I think Patricia has uh, got pretty decent stats and is not too expensive. So, Patricia, you are hired, and that means we can now have a look at our um, fees so now we can see so small aircraft runway usage is 400 medium is one five large is two five and then small stand parking fee medium stand parking fee 
and large stand parking fee. I'm not sure whether that is whether that is only general aviation or not. Avgas fuel, um, A1 fuel, Jet A1 catering meal, aircraft cabin cleaning, de-icing fluid, bathroom entrance fees, passenger handling fees, and then baggage handling fees pretty pretty steep. Short term parking fee, yes. And then the long term one, can we squeeze that long term up a little? Um, yeah, let's see. Let's see how that goes. Um, so the question still beckons. Is this parking fee for all aircraft or is it only for general aviation? So I'm going to keep a very close eye on these guys. I see no parking revenue coming in from this. And, I, and, and there's just... I don't think there's any way of actually knowing. I haven't seen any other numbers pop up from these guys parked over here. That number is coming from passengers that's going in there. Where are you going? You shouldn't be hanging out over here. So if I go back to this and I say, can I break this down a little bit more? That parking fee is immense. It makes me think that that cannot possibly be from only from these guys. Okay, hang on. So if it's, go back to the fees, trying to figure things out here, guys. So small stand parking fee is 100. And I'm assuming that is 100 per hour. Okay. So if we have six, that means 600 per hour. If we have six and six over here, that is 1,200. And then what do we have over here? It's three medium stands. What was the medium stand price again? Medium stand parking fee is 200, so that's another 600. So it's 1,800 per hour is basically what we're saying we should be earning from parking fees. So why, why are we earning ludicrous amounts on it? Yeah, I think there's something, I'm not, I'm not sure. Unless that's a daily, at least these are daily numbers. I have no idea why that, that's that high. Parking fees are immense. Even if all of them are fully parked, we can't earn that kind of money. So I don't know why that's the case. So there might be a glitch in there. I do not know. I do not know. Um, okay, so we didn't make a lot of progress on that then. Um, but we probably managed to figure some stuff out. Uh, I do want us to get that area sorted out. But yeah, so now we now. Okay, now now it's now it's about planning our expansion. This is getting out of hand. Okay. Because this is getting out of hand, I think it is time for us to rejig the operation over here. So let me let me get rid of some of these things. Let's move some of them a little bit. So this is a work site. Let's quickly get um, our work sites and stuff sorted out over here somewhere. Um, Let's just let's just move it. Let's just move it over here. We're not we don't use it. So let's just move it over there. And a delivery site right over there. So we'll move those two out of the way. At the same time, we need to obviously get rid of that and get rid of that. Perfect. Now I want to get rid of all of the rest of this. So let's grab the um, the road pieces. What do you mean? Oh. There you go. Okay. What 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 are you saying? Okay. Sorted. Now can we uh, get rid of that? Get rid of that. All of that. Get rid of all of that. Okay. Now I want to get rid of all of these bus stops and things. So let's get rid of these guys, and at the same time we'll get rid of the taxi guys like so and then get rid of the other guys as well okay now uh, i also want us to kind of get rid of that okay now layout layout wise um i am thinking we bring in a little bit we'll bring it in a little bit further away um, and we do it one way after, after the fact, right? So what I want to do is I want to run... 
actually going to do... Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll do something like that. Oh, I actually got that back. Um, you see, now this... I'm going to have to get rid of that in order to make, make it work. Oh, there's some benches here. Forgot about it. Give me those benches. Uh, let me just... Come on. Okay, and now give me that road yet again. Okay, so a little something like that. Then I'm going to grab this and get rid of that piece. Going to get rid of that piece. Okay, now with that in mind, I do want this. I want this to be one way. I want both of those to be one way as well. And I'm hoping that will actually work. We'll have to test it and see. And then I'm going to put back... Put back these guys i'm gonna i might actually get that one to go just straight through there so let's start well let's start off over here actually we'll start off like that so we can squeeze in a couple more like so and we can actually squeeze in a last one over there in which case we will have to run that's that way around okay which is okay it's not the end of the world so that's the one that we'll do then we'll Ah, now, what I'm, oh, I have to move this one, actually, so that one needs to go there. Why can't we, what is in the way here? Okay, so with that in mind, people are struggling. All kinds of crap going on at the moment. Oh, that's the issue. I did not know that's a thing, to be honest. Um, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to get the medium one in there and in there and then remove it there. At the very least, we'll get the one. Let's get rid of that one as well. And then what I just want to do is let's just get this in place so that the guys can actually walk walk to the other side. So that's that's the thing there. Uh, and then let's get rid of all of this and all of that. Okay, so that is the thing. So now we got got room for more buses. I'm I, I'm very keen to see how this thing functions. Let's um, let's uh, make sure we one way it out over there. Actually, you know what? Let's get rid of this. Uh, I want to get rid of that as well. I actually want to run it. I'm not sure that's going to work. We'll run it like that and see what see what that does. We can't make it any higher because we're going to have to let the guys walk up that way. Okay, now let's more more buses. Um, I'm keen on more buses over here. One, two, three buses like that, and um, maybe another bus over here, and then we'll just kind of flip them around. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So now tons more room for buses. Hopefully that works quite well. And then on this side, oh, I don't think actually we can squeeze in more stuff here. Unless we divert the road a little bit, things are not going to work. So what we could do is we could just squeeze in um, a couple of things. Maybe just a taxi stop or something over there. Anyway, that's fine. Let's leave it like that and see how this works. That stop there is obviously a bit of a bummer. We'll see if that works. Okay, excellent. So they're parking, doing their thing. Uh, can this bus just get out of the way? And so the others... Oh, I think it's because that one was built first. So it immediately parked and passed a number of these guys. We might get rid of that one, to be honest. Just, just get rid of that one bus stand right there. Getting all kinds of errors happening at the moment. And I probably need to end this episode. Yeah, it must be errors around all of this happening here. Yeah, I just want to get rid of this one bus stand here. This bus stand is not it's not our friend. Um, so let's, let's just uh, get rid of that one. And what we could actually do is bop in a taxi stand. On both sides maybe, or... 
one taxi stand and one car car stand on this side and we'll just flip that one around and there we go so now we've got one taxi one car no you should not be doing what you're doing absolutely not doing what you're doing um okay so the question is the question is uh, i thought you just had to do one but obviously not what you need to do is you need to do that and that okay now okay that's fine i think okay i think we're going to sort it out now with the double the double line thing i think works really well and to be honest i'm quite keen to see if we can't do the double line on the service roads as well so anyway that's the setup right over there i'm not a fond of still how the buses do their pathing and stuff but there should be enough room to to get the movement going please don't do funny stuff like that Yeah, we probably need a little more of that. But the buses are, we seem to be moving the people a little bit quicker. Okay, guys, in the next episode, we're going to start looking at where are we going to squeeze in our turnaround services. Can we get enough money so we can actually expand a little bit more? Uh, I don't think we necessarily need to expand more. We could, ex we could start looking at expanding our runway. Um, we could take out our general aviation and get our de-icing and things going on over here. I am pretty keen that we start getting our, our turnaround services in this little area region over here. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it um, as much as I have playing it, please hit that like button. I do appreciate your support and you have been brilliant on this series. I love it. Um, leave your comments down below and share it with your friends so that we get more people into the community and a bigger discussion going on in the comments. I have some big news in, and that I will be looking at streaming a little bit of um, Airport CEO in the not too distant future. So keep, uh, keep, uh, keep, keep yourselves posted with notifications on my channel. Um, things are going crazy over here. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.